Southern California sculptor Laura Woodhead Steer was born in Los Angeles on May 13, 1888. Her parents were Charles Burton and Ida Gard Woodhead. Both of Laura's college-educated parents had moved to California from the Midwest. They built one of the first brick homes in Los Angeles where they raised their four girls, Blanche, Florence, Laura, and Charlene. When Laura was just a toddler, her parents brought her by horse and saddle to Strawberry Valley in the San Jacinto Mountains. Laura rode on the front of her mother's saddle all the way to San Jacinto Peak. The Woodheads, who lived in Los Angeles, became enchanted with the mountains and valleys below them. Laura's father was a pioneer real estate developer and wholesale California produce dealer. He was also credited for having named the city of Long Beach. He later built a ranch and dairy farm on land where Mount San Jacinto College now sits. The Woodheads built a summer home on Strawberry Creek where the town of Idlewild had been established. Laura attended the University of Southern California Preparatory School. She was a star playing point guard on the women's basketball team. Laura attended and graduated from Stanford University. She was one of the first women to graduate with a degree in zoology. While attending Stanford, Laura was asked by scientist S. Stillman Berry to illustrate his articles about cephalopods. After Laura graduated from Stanford, her parents sent her and her sister Blanche to Berlin, Germany to study China painting. Laura soon decided she would rather take jewelry design, but she was told she would first have to take a class in sculpture. From then on, the clay was never out of her hands more than necessary, and she became a sculptor who delighted in her chosen field. Just before Europe plunged into World War I, Laura married Lieutenant Thomas I. Steer. Thomas and Laura honeymooned in Dark Canyon near Idlewild. They had four children, Florence, Charles, John, and Jim. While attending to her growing family, Laura also remained dedicated to developing her artistic talent. Laura studied sculpture in Berlin at the studio of Albert Toff, at the Boston Museum School of Art with Bella Pratt, with Leo Lentelli and Ralph Stockpole, at the California School of Fine Arts, and with Florence Weil in Toronto, Canada. Laura went on to earn a master's degree in paleontology from George Washington University. Laura began getting great recognition for her work in sculpture. She was commissioned to sculpt many famous people, including President Lincoln and Gandhi, which were two of her favorites. During the early 1930s, Helms Bakery furnished all the bread and baked goods for the athletes competing in the 1932 Olympics in Los Angeles. They commissioned Laura to create sculptures of the athletes. These sculptures are currently in the gardens of the LA 84 Foundation near the USC campus. taught sculpture in Los Angeles high schools and was very active in the local art scene. Laura taught the very first class at the famous Isomata Idlewild School of Music and the Arts a year before the school officially opened. 
The school, now known as Idlewild Arts Academy, opened as a summer program for adults, and its faculty has included many world-renowned artists. Boxes all the same. There's a green one and a pink one and a blue one and a yellow one and they're all made out of ticky tacky and they all look just the same and the people in the houses all went to the university and they all got put in boxes little boxes all the same and there's doctors and there's lawyers and business executives and they all get put in box. The school was a dream Laura shared with Max and B. Crone, Meredith Wilson, and Dennis Everts Bowman. Laura donated the money to build the first building on the Isomata property. Laura's grandchildren spent many summers at the Isomata campus playing with clay and climbing the rocks around the studio. Not only did Laura offer her grandchildren sculpture lessons, she gave them biology lessons. Laura was known for making her famous rattlesnake soup. Once she killed a huge rattlesnake sunning near her cabin on the pothole rocks. She dissected the snake and pointed out all its parts to her grandchildren. Laura attended Isomata's second annual black tie dinner on May 13, 1971. Meredith Wilson, who composed The Music Man, presented Laura with a plaque for her devotion to art and love of life which has been an inspiration to all who have been privileged to know her. Soon after the lights went out, the Major D at Los Angeles Century Plaza Hotel brought in a cake ablaze with 83 candles. It was presented to a standing ovation. Laura was equally famous for her community potluck dinners as she was her treks to Takish Peak with friends and sometimes alone. On her last trip to the peak, she was carried by friends and family. Just over a year later, she died at 96 years old in her beloved Idlewild. <laughs>